Hello and welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how to show or hide specific worksheet based on cell value in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to use Visual Basic for application and let's get started. Take a look at this workbook here. We have two worksheets. The first one is invoice and the second one is invoice details. Okay. I'm going to write here invoice details and I'm going to add a drop down here with yes and no value. So whenever I select the yes, our invoice details worksheet will be visible. Whenever I select no, our invoice detail worksheet will be hidden. Now let's write here show details. And I'm going to format this according to this cell. So I'm going to select this cell and select format painter and click here and change the font to 9. So here is our show details and here I'm going to add a drop down for that click on the data tab, click on data validation, select this list from this drop down and write here yes, comma, no. Click OK and our drop down is added. From this drop down I can either select yes or no. Okay. So our invoice worksheet will be always visible so there I'm going to right click on the invoice worksheet name and then click on view code from here I'm going to select worksheet and from here I'm going to select change remove this one so we have our worksheet change code and in between we are going to write the code that will trigger Whenever we write yes, it will show our worksheet. Whenever we write no, it will hide our worksheet. So let's write it. I'm going to write if and our drop down value is, is in cell J4. So within third bracket, I'm going to write here J4. And then write within double quotation yes. Make sure the spelling is correct. Make sure it's in the same case. Okay. And then space right then. So if J4 equal to yes, then we are going to show the worksheet. So I'm going to write S is to sheets and then within parentheses, I'm going to paste the worksheet name. So I'm going to go to the worksheet and copy this worksheet name invoice details. I'm copying it because I don't want any error here. Here I'm going to add a double quotation and in between I'm going to write the worksheet name. Then I'm going to write dot and then visible. Then equal to true. So if J4 equal to yes, then this worksheet, which is our invoice detail worksheet will be visible. Here we have visible and then we have true. Then press enter and I'm going to write else so if it's not yes then what will happen it will hide this worksheet so I'm going to just copy it and paste it here and change this true to false and then I'm going to close the end function with end if and our code is ready so I'm going to close this and close the VBA editor and go to the invoice worksheet and select no and you can see our invoice detail worksheet is now hidden if i select yes from this drop down it is now visible so this is what i wanted to show you i hope you like this video if you can please support the channel through patreon and share this video with your friends if you need the code please check the link in the video description you will find the code there and don't forget to subscribe Thank you. Thanks for watching.